Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Book 2, Unit 3, Simple Present and Present Continuous. Dear students, today we will study about the difference between simple present and present continuous. Okay, let's look at the objectives of this unit. After completing this unit, you will be able to use the simple present to talk about all the time and routines and you will use the present continuous to talk about now and temporary events so uh, this is also the basic difference between simple present and present continuous in simple present we talk about all the time that means your habit and routines in present continuous we talk about now, what's going on now, and temporary events. Now, let us do some practice. Okay, now use simple present to talk about all the time. Okay, all the time means your habit and routines. Now, let us look at this question. How do you stay in shape? Okay, I walk everywhere okay I walk everywhere so this can be your routine or this can be your habit how do you stay in shape I walk everywhere and this is how I stay in shape now do you get regular exercise yes I do I exercise six days a week okay I exercise six days a week so this is your routine no we don't we don't exercise at all okay so we use simple present to talk about all the time that means your habit and routines okay let us look at some more example and here we'll talk about present continuous we use present continuous to talk about now that means what's going on now and temporary events okay things that you do for a short time okay Let's look at the first question. What sports are you playing these days? Okay, so what sports are you playing these days? These days suggest that means it's temporary. It's not permanent. I'm doing karate. Okay, it's getting me in shape. Okay, remember in present continuous we use the verb okay, plus ing. Okay, what sports are you playing these days? Okay, play plus ing. I'm doing karate. Okay, so here we have do plus ing. Getting get plus ing. Okay, so what sports are you playing these days? I'm doing karate. It's getting me in shape. Let's look at another example. Is she trying to lose weight? Yes, she is. She is drinking diet drinks no she is not she is not trying to lose weight okay so again when you see ing you, you recognize that this is continuous okay drinking trying okay is she trying to lose weight another thing as we uh, as we are focusing here upon present continuous it talks about now okay and temporary event so is she trying to lose weight okay so it's a temporary event these days yes she is she is drinking diet drinks no she is not she is not trying to lose weight okay so hope you have got an idea uh, and the difference between uh, simple present and present continuous okay now we will do some practice about joining clauses with if and when okay first of all you should know what is a clause okay so a clause is a group of word okay so what is a clause a clause a clause what is a clause it's a group of word it's a group of word that has 
that has a subject and a verb okay so it's a group of word that has a subject and a verb okay L let's look at the first example what do you take when you have a cold okay I don't take anything when I have a cold okay the same sentence we can write in another form when I have a cold I don't take anything okay so uh, just remember when we bring when in the middle there is no comma okay when we bring when in the beginning we have a comma here okay because it, it denotes that it's a dependent clause okay let's look at another example with if what do you do if you get a really bad cold if I get a really bad cold I drink hot vinegar with honey I don't I drink hot vinegar with honey if I get a really bad cold okay so the same sentence we can write in two different form but just remember when if and when they come in the beginning we have a comma okay after the clause because it's a dependent clause okay it cannot exist on its own so we can write in these two different forms like what do you take when you have a cold I don't take anything when I have a cold when I have a cold I don't take anything okay you can see the difference between these two sentence similarly what do you do if you get a really bad cold I if I get a really bad cold I drink hot vinegar with honey okay look at the difference okay look at the comma here I drink hot vinegar with honey if I get a really bad cold okay so hope you would have enjoyed your lesson today you have got interesting ideas how to differentiate between simple present and present continuous okay how to use if and when when you join clauses this is all for today have a nice day see you in the next class